Hi Sagis, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tan uh, Tarot. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Um, guys, I hope you're well. This is your monthly uh, tarot reading for September 2022. Um, what's been happening? Well, I've been super, super busy. Lots of expos, lots of, um, lots of gigs. Um, it's been really good actually. Um, I've been sort of dabbling in some new books and uh, meeting lots of new people and yeah, just really busy. It's um, Virgo season now, so it is time to sort of knuckle down and sort of compartmentalize things, get busy, get organized, um, you know, whether it be organizing your sock drawer or your finances or your, um, you know, um, just tidying things up and your space, making things, you know, zen and clearing out energy so you can actually work in a an organized space. Um, that is some of the things that you might want to do um, in September um, and we're working with Mercury uh, this month as well because um, Mercury rules Virgo so um, you know it's again business trade communications uh, anything to do with uh, buying or selling and also uh, you know working th through things quickly you know we're, we're stepping up the pace now we're sort of moving into um, an energy here where we need to sort of um, think quickly um, because Virgo energy is not particularly fast but it, Mercury is a very um, you know it's a very quick element you know it's quicksilver um, okay let's get started on your reading and see what pops out um, I hope you're well and let's get started and see what's happening for you uh, in September angel spirits guys angel spirits guys what does Sagittarius need to know for the month of September What's coming out in here? Now, remember, the guys, this is a collective reading. Some of the, res the res messages may or may not resonate with you. So if they don't, just leave them for somebody else. Um, and let me know in the comments if uh, things do come through for you. Thank you so much. So speaking of Virgo, this is the Knight of Pentacles. This is at the center of your reading. Crowning you, you have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio Energy. In your foundation, you have the Six of Swords. Okay. In your recent past, Ten of Cups. Okay, this is great. Your immediate future, if there you are, you're showing up in your own reading, the Temperance card. Um, in your attitude, you have the Hanged Man. Okay. In your environment, you have the Justice card. And... Wow, in your attitude, you have the King of uh, Coins or King of Pentacles. And the outcome here, you have Leo, uh, the Strength card. Bottom of the deck, Five of Wands. And clarifying that as your overarching energy, you have the Two of Swords. Okay. I was going to close that and they said no. So I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look here, guys. So I've pulled you a quick Celtic cross. Um, you know, I like to sort of use this as my, a bit of a go-to. It's an oldie bit of goodie. Um, I think it covers, you know, a lot for what this sort of video uh, should in terms of serving a, a purpose. Okay, let's have a look here. Now, I'm just feeling like overall, even just looking at this at a glance before I start walking it through card by card, there's an energy here of patience. There's an energy here of surrender. There's an energy here of, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Um, but also lots of um, sort of undercurrent as well. It's almost like not treading water, but just being receptive this month i feel like this even though you're a fire sign there is an energy here of um just allow just allow things to happen you know things will sort of the, the cards will fall how they fall literally um but it is about sort of not being the aggressor this month it is sort of allowing things to just sort of not float but just sort of oh, how, how, how should i describe it it's sort of i'm, I'm seeing i'm getting an energy it's kind of like um it's almost like there, you know, when you see those orbs in in sort of ghost photos and things like that as well. It's sort of like you're suspended in time, but you're still sort of there. You're kind of floating around, but you you're only seen when people want to see you, and you can sort of 
duck out of the room and, and nobody will notice it, if, if you know what I mean. You're sort of incognito a little bit this month. That's probably the word I'm looking for. So being incognito is not a bad thing. It just means that you can sort of observe, uh, make decisions on certain things, but at the same time, um, yeah, not attract too much attention to yourself. So let's get started. In the center of your reading, you've got your Knight of Pentacles. So Knights for me are always about new pathways. Okay, um, and this path that you're working on at the moment, you could be sort of taking your time with something. It's not something that you want to rush into, but it will eventually bring you some financial prosperity. Okay, there is money coming towards you, but it's sort of slow. It's not um, It's not a race. Okay, so this is sort of you in the center, just being patient, basically just waiting for, the, for your ships to come in here. In your crowning position, you've got the Queen of Cups. This is Scorpio energy. Um, but this is also, you know, you're attracting um, a lot of people at the moment who need your help, who need your sort of emotional counsel in a way. Um, Scorpio energy is always the shoulder to cry on. And people who come to this, this Queen of Cups is also people who share information about themselves that, you know, in other words, could be quite private. But for some reason, they feel compelled to share this information with you as well. And, you know, this can be a blessing and a curse. You know, sometimes if someone tells you something, you're like, oh, I wish, I wish you didn't tell me that. Now I can't unhear it. But also at the same time, um, you're obviously hearing it and experiencing that for a reason. In your uh, foundation card here, you've got the um, Six of Swords. Now, I feel for a lot of you, you are moving into a much better place in terms of your mental health. Um, you know, if you want to sort of use layman's terms, this is kind of like smooth sailing now. You're coming out of like a five of swords energy and moving into the six. But this, you know, this energy here of sort of being patient with your finances and also being sort of the emotional sort of counsel for others, especially when it comes to dark secrets or anything to do with the occult or anything like that. This is a rite of passage for you. You know, this is sort of what you were, why you were here, why you are still here with us. Um, so that's really important. In your recent past, you have the Ten of Cups, uh, which is the sort of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I think you've sort of hit, you've been you've been wanting something for a very long time to sort of be fully, fully, fully realised. Um, and there's been something that's occurred here where you've just finally said, yes, I made it, you know, and it's really brought you uh, an immense sense of joy. Um, and that's just something that's come through recently. In your immediate future, here you are with your temperance. Um, you know, you are an earth angel. People do come to you with uh, for healing. But this now is also about um, a bit of a restoration process. You know, coming up, you're also going to be using this time while you're waiting in the center here for, you know, things that are in the works perhaps that are, um, you're, you're just moving very, very slowly on and taking your time with. And as I said, you're creating in the process as well, you're creating spiritual alchemy. You know, you're working with the divine, keeping one foot on the ground and one foot in the water, you know, keeping yourself uh, motivated and, you know, on the on planet Earth, but also still spiritual, still soulful, still creative, still receptive. Uh, this is you in the querent position. Hanged man is about a new perspective, but it's also about surrendering, allowing, you know, allowing grace to come in, having a, a moment here where you sort of realize, okay, now I get it. Now I understand X, Y, Z, whatever that applies to in your life. Because as I said, this is a collective reading and I'm just picking up on whatever's coming through here intuitively, psychically, um, and based on, you know, the, I'm using the large, you may have noticed in the background over there, I'm using my large right away tarot in the major arcana for each sun sign this month um, as a bit of a talisman. So I'm sort of uh, sensing here again that you are, um, you know, you are starting to see things a bit differently. Um, but also I feel, this is amazing, in your environment here, there's justice coming through for you. Okay, these things are going to be restored here. And, you know, money is also coming towards your way as well. You know, um, this is your attitude. You want to be the best. You want to be CEO. Capricorn energy is the top of the chain. Capricorn energy is, you know, long-term financial investment or a long time waiting, a long time for something here that's going to bring you, um, you know, it's going to see you through until the rest of your days. It's going to sort of set you up for life, um, which is amazing. Um, it's beautiful energy um, through this side of the reading. Um, and then your final card here is the Leo card, which is inner strength, inner wisdom, digging deep, and the ability to rise above it all. 
rise above a situation, rise above um, anything petty. Um, and I am going to sort of mention that because you've got your overarching energy here over here, which is the five of wands clarified by the two of swords. Now, your five of wands here is your overarching energy, and I've got the clarifier there. So sort of what I'm picking up here, you know, the fives are always about Mars energy. Um, you know, petty arguments, conflict. You know, Mars is going to be in Gemini between now and the end of uh, uh, March next year. So between now and the end of March next year, we're, we're going to be constantly confronted with, you know, people who push our buttons and, and test us. And, you know, it is challenging. But at the same time, you're also trying to actually do quite a few things here. Um, you know, there's a lot going on. You're trying to spin quite a lot of plates. But also um, to clarify that, you know, at the same time, you're sort of trying to ret retain your um, your mental health as well and, and also your heart space. Because the Two of Swords for me is sort of preventing the Three of Swords. You know, you're, you're in, on the defense here. You're protecting your heart. You know, she's got her arms crossed in front of her heart space here, which is, you know, by choosing your words carefully, especially when Mars is moving into Gemini, you want to be discerning uh, about your communication and what is said um, or or perhaps what you don't say um, because silence can also send a very, very strong message to a lot of people. So, uh, Sagis, I hope you enjoyed the reading and you found it helpful. If you did and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, check out the subscribe button, give it a smash uh, if you got value and look at the description below. There's a few things I've put there. Uh, if you're interested in learning tarot, uh, I've got a school that I've sort of put some material together. You can download and work at your own pace. It's called New Angel Tarot Academy. So have a beautiful September, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you next time.